Hello everyone, welcome back to, oh god, original help, Doom, uh, where we are in level 6. Well, wow. okay, we did quite a lot recently. Uh, I'm, it's quite late at night. I have had, oh jeez, I've had a couple of sherries and a vague attempt to learn some light and stuff. I honestly had to look up online what it was made of. Turns out it's basically port, but made from white wine. Um, so... There you go. Uh, it's not really quite as effective as the whiskies that we had on stream. Uh, but of course, whiskey is a significantly stronger drink. Uh, I'm okay with this. Let's just uh, explode all these barrels and have done with it. I keep wanting to press R to reload the uh, the weapon, which is a bit of a uh, modern gamer foible, I'm afraid. Yeah, we all knew that was coming. Don't even pretend. Let's, um, let's use the weapon that we were just given for this exact purpose. Wow, it's really loud. Okie dokie. Uh, let's try not to die here. But I've taken surprisingly little damage considering how many enemies just all piled in at once. I guess that's the nice thing about them having these circular hitboxes that just prevent them from actually being able to reach me because they're all running into each other. I think they actually fought each other as well. I know that they do that, so it's not like I'm particularly surprised to learn that they would have done, but never mind. Nevertheless, it's uh, pleasing that they decided to attack each other rather than me. Uh, I think it's space rather than E to open the door. Let's, let's use that. That's a, a red key. So uh, apparently this demon in here is trying to open the door. I'm not quite sure what happened there. <clears throat> Ouch. These doors are the strangest... I mean, I've talked a lot about the, the design of this game compared to uh, a modern equivalent. Mostly I'm just confused by... I mean, the, the things I'm looking at don't really mean anything to me in a visual sense, basically. I... Ooh, that sounds like a secret. No, I, I look at these... Um... <clears throat> Designs on the walls and floors, and I'm sort of vaguely guessing that they have some significance in some respect, but they don't really tell the story um, that presumably the designers are intending to tell by using these uh, these textures that they do have. So I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk and, and not die at the same time, which is particularly difficult. Uh, yeah, you, you look at the doors and you go, well, I, I understand that this is a door, but I don't really understand what you're what story you're trying to tell with the text that you've chosen. I mean, there's lots of different types of doors, but this one here, it's all bumpy and weird. Is it a blast door? Maybe it's a blast door. That would make sense. Uh, but uh, then again, maybe it isn't, because uh, it would also make sense that it wasn't. Got my binary blanket, keeping my legs warm. It's a bit chilly. It's, again, late at night, so I haven't turned the heating on. Why would I heat an entire house, especially considering where my computer is, is a colder part of the house, so I would heat the entire house just to uh, keep a, a very small part of it warm. So we take this and we go in here, uh, and then we go, oh shit, we shouldn't have taken that yet, because we don't want to be in here yet. Uh, very well. That was a mistake. I guess I will just suffer the HP damage that we have to take in order to come back there later. I'm pretty sure that door opens, but I think you have to maybe go inside that place in order to deal with it correctly. Here's a blue door, so that's right. Uh, although, this is also a valuable place to go, so we'll do this. A secret is revealed. Okie dokie. I... Thanks for the uh, voiceover that I completely forgot was going to happen. Terrified me slightly. Uh, I'm okay with it, really. Oh, did that just... Okie dokie. Is it still open? Oh, it's a one-way door. Uh, okay, so I forgot that the voiceover happened. Slightly terrified. Bad guy literally shooting the wall it's because I'm partially invisible. This, um... I was going to say, this seems to last forever, just as it ran out. That seems fairly natural for me. If you would like to go up so that I can make the most of this. That is clipped in an odd way. Okay, thank you. Soul Sphere. Find it's called a uh, Shadow Sphere. No, it wasn't called a Shadow Sphere. Didn't see what it was called. Just stop talking. Just watch in silence for a few minutes while I try and remember how to play this game, how to talk even 
a slight bit of English. Okay, so there's a button. That's a interesting way of using the engine, I think. In order to make a one-way door. I mean, you could just have a one-way door. That is perfectly possible. Where are you? Are oh, you not dead for now? Not fair, not fair. Not really min-maxing the ammo. I do know there's a computer map available around here. Which tells you which parts of the level you've not explored yet. But, I mean, this seems like a fairly obvious secret right here. Which is why it's not. Should you see? Nope. They did start to play around with the old secrets idea. I mean... Early, early video games didn't really, I guess, make a, a big deal out of hiding secrets. Although, that being said, you'd think I'd be a little bit better at finding them all, were that the case. Uh, clearly I'm not, because as of yet, we have not found a single secret. Uh, a single level, we have not yet found all the level, all the secrets of a single level. There we go, I can speak, I promise you. Not a lot to talk about with Doom. I've gone through the old uh, Doom 3 thing, and I'm really looking forward to playing Doom 2016, but not until we have somewhat exhausted. This, uh, the... There's a few games that I want to play of this era right now, which is why I'm not yet joining in on the 2016 thing, and it is actually 2017 right now, so I'm essentially a year behind. There's got to be a way in there. In fact, there must be a way in there, so that must be what that switch does, so let's just pull that switch. Again, here's another one of those design decisions. What the heck is this place? What does it represent? I don't understand it. It's central processing, which could be anything. I mean, okay, we do know that this is the uh, Union Aerospace Corporation, UAC, uh, which we also know about from Doom 3, but we'll pretend we know about it from Doom 1 here. Uh, okay, good. So another monster closet and fine. Um, and therefore we know that I think uh, UAC here are doing some sort of chemical processing on this moon of Mars, which appears to have Earth gravity. Um, but I don't... Like, what are we essentially processing? There's just sludge everywhere and some weird-ass four-way controls. It's not really filling me full of confidence that I know what's going on. Yeah, so we've used some... Uh, um, our <coughs> suit from over there, but I'm just going to run through here anyway because I know about it. it. Didn't actually cost us too much, and we got the secret without having to mess around. This is what the place that I thought we were earlier on in maybe level two, uh, where I wasn't sure where we were. Let's jump down here, kill that Joker. So this just opens it. It's actually a supercharged exclamation mark. Hello. No way I'm dodging that. That's fine. I got shot in the face with a shotgun and survived it because I am the strongest character. The strongest person that ever did live on this earth. Let's uh let's use this. So we get us some decent value out of this because it causes enemies to flinch a lot more often, which gives us a lot more time to uh actually do damage to them. Lost a lot of health in this particular chapter of our lives, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, this is this, the hardest mode <clears throat> besides the nightmare mode, which I refuse to play because I already tried it and it was horrendous. So I think we're going to be doing just fine as we uh, run through this map. Have we got the yellow key? Yes. I mean, three keys, three different color keys is a very... 90s thing and it actually kind of reminds me of even earlier video games the uh, 2d style Man, what game am I thinking of? Let me percolate this through my mind temporarily. Can I press this without? Okay. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of 2d video games from the late 80s and early 90s where there were three different colour keys and you it was almost like a puzzle platformer type thing and the three different colour keys were just sort of gating the the different sections of the puzzle basically. But there's no way we could have performed a dodge like that in the uh, original control scheme in this game. Which kind of makes me a little bit overpowered, but I mean the nightmare mode is ridiculously impossible, right? Even with a dodge like that, there's no way you can get through nightmare mode. As mentioned, people have done it, and um, 
our old friend 42% health has mentioned that there are... That was a horrible expression on my face just now. Uh, has mentioned that there are people who have indeed played it on YouTube, so go search for them. Uh, I can't really recommend any because I don't know any, but maybe 42% uh, gamer can do that for us. Uh, let's just die horribly here. We're back down to uh, being able to pick up medkits, so there's that. I mean, you can feel that there's a little bit of a challenge involved if you actually end up going below 100% health at any point. 95, that's, uh, that's low by our standards. Right now, what am I stuck on here? It's a thing. Good grief. Scared the crap out of me. Hmm. Press this then. And that's the real exit. I remember. Don't even think that is the real exit. These um. You're not even hurting me when you are literally shooting my face. Sorry. Oh, now you are. Well done. Finally got around to doing me some damage. These are all circuit boardy things. I mean, I guess we're supposed to believe that they're... Arbitrary technology? Why do you keep opening and closing? Anyway. Um, yeah, it's just... I always thought that these looked Incan, which always confused me, because it has nothing to do with anything that I would expect to find around here. Uh... I wonder what that blue area is over there. Is it just a giant blue door? Maybe. Follow mode off and check out for anything we've not really explored. There is one thing we've not explored, but I can't be asked going to find it. It can't have anything that interesting in it, so let's just leave. I'm pretty sure this is a fake exit. <coughs> oh no, that's the right exit. So yeah, I expect that's one secret that we didn't find by not going through that area. Couldn't care less. Let's do a uh, computer station, apparently. We are picking up clips, which means... I, mean, uh, I remember this one. Actually. Half tempted to use rockets. Kind of doing okay with rockets right now. I'm actually quite happy with that. Hello. Probably want to avoid using rockets too close. So this is computer station. So we'll find out what they meant by those textures that I'm assuming are computer textures. And we have 15% armor, which is actually really, really low. But I, I guess I just allowed myself to take all the damage in the world. Rather than trying to dodge enemies or anything, which is how I play most games. So do check out all other series if you want to see me get hit more times than is strictly necessary. And uh, sometimes completely fail to achieve my goal. Hello? Come on. You can do this. There we go. Sometimes I feel like those imps take like exactly one more bullet than I can than I get out of my shotgun. One more pellet. Than actually fires in all situations. Excuse me? Less of that please. So this place would already be overrun again if we were playing on nightmare mode, that's how many things spawned. And we were doing that. And don't forget that in the old days, of course, these levels would be perfectly flat and these sounds that we kept hearing would be um, you know you wouldn't be able to see up and down you would be perplexed in many situations that there's anything up there for example and yet they would be able to see you hello Are these lifts and things so what am I supposed to believe they're made of ow and these zombies just fall apart it's great I really liked in the original, in the Doom 3, which is going to remain controversial, the, the different ways that the zombies would fall apart. I thought that was really... Maybe it's just a for the time thing, or maybe it was... Maybe I'm just easily impressed, but I, I did enjoy the way you could accidentally... Like, you could shoot the top of their head off. Shit like that, and they'd be wandering around with their tongue lolling out. Although, honestly, it seems... I'm going to say it seems unrealistic, even though it's zombies, because I thought we were supposed to believe that if you destroy the brain of a zombie, it dies, and yet that one was walking around without an entire top of its head. Oh, you're up there. I remember. That's another one of those things where you've been running around going, what the hell's happening? Modern expectations have been able to look up and down 
somewhat thwart that. I always like the way that your uh, character lost um, integrity in its in his face, which is a strange thing to say, but I'm sure you understand what I mean. As it took damage, it starts getting more bloody and it starts to look more ouchy. That's something that was definitely not represented in a modern remake, well at least the uh, the Doom 3 modern remake. Don't know if it was represented in 2016 Doom, so we'll find that out. I have heard good reviews about it, so hopefully it's a lot more arcadey than Doom 3 was. I don't know if it's hopefully. I quite like the uh, I quite like the idea of trying to actually tell a story with a game like Doom rather than just letting me go nuts. I also just like the way I can go nuts. So. I'm getting a lot more used to, like, not being shot by things from other directions. I think in the early versions of these games, no, in the early playthroughs of these games, your ability to actually dodge things were somewhat thwarted, or completely thwarted, by the control scheme that you were given. Uh, you, you couldn't react to anything, because you weren't using the mouse, so you couldn't turn very fast. Look, I've got blood coming out of my nose. It's disgusting. 68% health. I'll let you know when we get to 42%. We've been in this position in Hexen as well, so it's not like we're entirely unsure what to do. I'm sure that we'll get way more stim packs, etc., in the future. This is very nostalgic, actually. Seeing the, the bloody face is actually a lot more nostalgic than anything else that's happened so far. But I do like the ability to just look upwards when we've been taken down a lift. Continue shooting the thing that otherwise you would have just had to shoot the wall and hope to hit, or uh, just have no chance to hit. Stepping sideways, these creatures have no concept of this massively next level tactic. How, they're like, how did you, how did you walk around that corner whilst facing me? Unbelievable. Absolutely impossible. Down there somewhere, there's a uh, hazmat suit, I noticed. There's a lot more ammo available than I'm using as well. Probably because I'm exclusively using the shotgun for some reason. Um, which means I'm not running out of bullets or anything. Yeah, I want to get up there. Oh, maybe that's what this does. Nothing there. Because I'm basically exclusively using the shotgun in you know, a place full of creatures that carry shotguns. We haven't found the blue key. We've only got the red door. There's a red key over there. I guess we go to that. Where are you? Ready, Dory? So I think that's... You can get back in through that, but we have to use the hazmat suit to, uh, to get out that way. I can't remember how to actually get into the goo in the first place. Because all these walls are too high and this human being is incapable of climbing. As most humans are. Not equipped as they are for such manoeuvres. Hmm. Hmm. More noises I'm hearing. Hello. So obviously Doom predates Hexen, even though we did the Hexen series first. Uh, so you can see where the, the gaps are, basically. You can see where the, the scripts aren't, if that makes any sense. I'm sure it's here. We go in here. Pick up all the ammo. Oh, we don't need any. Right, this is computer central. Um, where my computer's at. All I'm seeing is more goo. It's from a from an era where just making the levels cool was sort of more the focus than trying to tell a story with them. Although, I don't want to cast any shade up on the people who actually you know, designed these levels. Obviously, they had something in mind when they were doing them, or they wouldn't have been doing them that way. You know, they had maybe a brief or uh, possibly just free reign to design the story through the game, the poverty story, etc. That sort of 
malarkey. But you see what I'm saying? They had to work within the constraints and also tell the story. Uh, and I think the constraints were probably more constraining. I heard a noise. Is that going to close again, do you think? The switch didn't unswitch. Hmm. Don't really feel like partial invisibility ever helps. Help! What was that? There's more down here. Okay. Probably should have gone round here. In the fur uh, hello, in the first place, but that's okay. They uh they woke up when I went past, but they can't see me. Interesting. Hexen was telling me how many kills I had. But it was also constantly spawning more kills in, so... Oh my god, he really did not like being shot at close range, huh? Oh, hello. That's interesting. That's how you get in there. Right, here we go then. Oh, did it wrong. Down you come. What? Grab it. Good. Right, we need to get that soul sphere because we are in incredible pain right now. Soul sphere. Yep, so that opens that. But then there's another thing I saw. Hmm. We, need, well, we want to make the most of this green mode that we have. So we want to try to get... Where do we want to try and get? There's some more goo somewhere and I can't remember where it was. Let's go back. Nah, can't get through there. Hmm. It's a very confusing place. The last part of the nostalgia of this is remembering making levels in deep. Just gonna get that bastard. Like picking all these textures and stuff. These very, very familiar textures to me. There wasn't a lot to go with uh, making Doom levels, as not as much as there were with Hexen levels, which I hope is fairly obvious. I'm going to just not bother with that other secret. Although... Hang on a minute. What is all that? It's not over there. It's over here. There's a whole bunch more stuff. See that there? Whole b and there's also this stuff as well, so I want to try and get to that. Well, I don't necessarily care to. Oh, this is going to be an interesting episode. Half tempted to not bother, but because I've seen it, I feel like it's like it's due diligence to try and figure out how to get there. Oh, there we go. Apparently, we just didn't open that door. Fair enough. Why would I just open doors? That seems silly. Opening doors is for losers. <laughs> Rockets, though. Actually, you kind of pleased I came this way. A few more rockets never hurts. Uh, some of those rockets are likely to hurt. Uh, oh, well, I guess we just jump down there, right? Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's do that. It hadn't occurred to me that there's just two sides to this. I don't need to worry about. Whoop. Ah, you bastard. I'm trying to be clever. Don't try and be clever. Just jump off. Don't fall in the water. Why would I ever go there? Oh, it's a teleporter. Or we could just go in there. Is that a teleporter? Or is it literally just one piece of armor that no one's ever going to get? Yeah, I'm not going to. I don't need to waste the HP on that. All right, good. Well, it's a, a good place to finish the episode, I think. Uh, presuming this is the real exit. We'll see how well we did. How well we did. And 75%. Pretty, uh, pretty common. Well, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I'm running out of things to talk about to carry us through. Uh, and I hope you will join me for the next one. But until then, well, I'll see you.